Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and I hope you guys have enjoyed these series of videos that I've been doing about the Chipson. Now, I know a lot of you guys will sit there and say, oh great, another Chipson guitar video. Well, this is not really nitpicking too much about the guitar, because I really don't have too much to nitpick about. It's actually, the structure and, and the build and everything else has been quite nice. And a lot of things that I've compared with a Gibson guitar, I kind of see in this guitar a little bit as well. So kind of like you know the binding, you'll see a little bleed through around the edges on the binding or something of the stain, and this is the same way. I see it on Gibson and I see it on this one, so it's not that much of a big deal. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be mostly a slideshow. So the progress of what I've been doing and how I've been doing it as far as I've been installing the pickups and the wiring and everything. I've been using the EMG setup, which is very, very nice. Okay, I gotta say that the EMG is all plug and play. Don't have to worry about nothing. Everything's been falling into place. I've had one problem so far with this guitar to where the neck pickup cavity wasn't deep enough uh, in order to put the EMG inside of it because of the terminals that are on the back of the EMG, you know, the little plug that's on the back of it was kind of keeping the pickup raised up a little bit, acting like a spring. So I had to route out that a little bit. Used a little bit of shielding uh, paint to seal up the wood. And I gotta say too, uh, a lot of these guitars are, you know, people would say that the wood is, is, is cheap wood, it's not very hard, it's not, you know, it's this, it's that, you know. This thing here, when I used a Dremel to route out the inside of the cavity, and the bit that I was using was basically like a, a miniature router bit. It was a brand new bit. And the mahogany that this thing is made out of uh, is hard as hell. So I broke one bit, and I didn't force the bit into the wood or to do anything. I let the bit do the work. And uh, I gotta say, the wood of this thing is pretty fucking hard. Uh, otherwise, everything else has been falling into place, like I said, and no troubles. Now, one thing I did with this is I compared it to the Gibson that I actually have, the actual Gibson, um, when it's a traditional that I've got. And I noticed a few things like binding issues and stuff like that. And Gibson also does the same thing like this thing has. You will see a little bit of bleed through um, from the stain into the binding a little bit, kind of like where they didn't really scrape it all that good. There isn't a lot of that on this guitar. There's just as much on this guitar as there is on the actual Gibson. So that I was kind of surprised about. I figured Gibson would be a little bit more quality, you know, control with that shit. But uh, no, they're about the same. But I gotta say, this thing's been going together pretty well and uh, I'm enjoying building this thing or putting it back together now. And uh, again, EMG setup is unreal, you know, pretty simple. You got everything plugs in and into, you know, gotta love it. it. Makes it real easy, no soldering. So how do you like the new t-shirts? So it's an ESP shirt and then the back of it. I have picked up several of different types of guitar t-shirts off of eBay. Uh, this one was a pain in the ass to find because I guess it's a very popular shirt and uh, yeah but gotta love it anyways again this video is gonna be a little bit different it's gonna be more of a slideshow of the progress hope you guys enjoy the series that I've been making with this I know it's like kind of like another chips in video you know whatever but it's kind of showing me a little bit of difference from between a lot of you guys out there that have bought chips and have terrible luck with them and problems with them and everything else compared to, um, I guess, AliExpress and just buying off of eBay. And I found that the seller, you know, make sure you do your research if you want to buy one of these things. I don't say go ahead and, you know, buy it, do what you want, but uh, do your research first. That's all I got to say. If you can find any videos or anything about them, uh, something that you're interested in, and uh, yeah, do your research first. So, on with the slideshow. You guys take it easy, have a good one, enjoy the videos, and uh, catch up with you later.
All right, so this is the last part of the video. Basically, I'm going to show off the Blue Chipson guitar and how it looks like with the pickups installed on it now. Everything is done, exception of putting the volume and tone control knob back on, the tailpiece, the bridge, and a nut. Uh, I have to make a nut for this. I have a bone nut that's going to go on here, so I have to shape it, cut it down a little bit, and get it to fit right. But all in all, uh, I think this one looks pretty good. So let's take a look at it. It came out pretty good. Now I kind of wanted to go with the uh, the white theme with the inlays that are in the neck, but you know they're a little bit more white than what I expected to be. But all in all, you know I think it looks pretty good. Got EMG's 81 and a 61, I think is inside here, 60 or 61, something like that. I have to go back and look it up. But everything is done. Just have to add the nut, get it stringed up. The neck is still perfectly straight where I set it and uh, give it a little bit of a polish and that was about it. Get all my grubby fingerprints off it. So here's the battery box on the back. So didn't have to carve out anything into the body. It fit perfectly right there. The EMG uh, electronics, uh, there's enough, plenty of room inside there. But I gotta put a little piece of felt inside there because you do hear the battery moving around. I do have a battery installed. So all in all, once I get this thing done, uh, I can give you my thoughts about the chips and guitar and probably maybe you know introduce the seller into uh, my channel a little bit and not so much like physically introduce him but put his uh, eBay name in someplace that way uh, if anybody else is interested in one of these things you know by choice you could buy one if you want what I've been seeing with this thing so far has been pretty damn decent. Once I get it strung up, and uh, like I said, I haven't really been playing guitar that much at all. Uh, mostly just putzing around with these things and uh, working on them. And I really haven't been doing that all that much either. I've been kind of like slowly doing little bits and pieces here and there. But I gotta say that uh, a lot of stuff that I see on this thing, I kind of see it with the traditional, the Gibson traditional that I have. So. In comparison between this and a Gibson, well, yeah, it's still a Chipson. You know, it's still a Chinese electric guitar. But it's not too bad at all. So that'll be later on. Hopefully this thing sounds pretty good with the EMGs on it. And uh, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.